Surprise, mother suckers. Let's pull a sample and review it. You down for it? What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Saucy Shane. Welcome back to another surprise sampler. You seen me? I pulled one randomly out of the little crate there. I can't wait. We're not going to wait too much around here. We're going to do these as quick as we possibly can. I thought about trying to do pull in two and doing them blind, but I really didn't know how to, to mark them. So probably figure that out. Maybe A and B. I don't know. I don't really know how you do the sample bottles. I don't know. It's hard enough to pour it in a glass. We're going to start with looking at the color of this. Pretty nice copper not really a dark amber it's like a copper hue not too dark legs running really rapidly down there can't really make out what the not really a high proof it don't look like it's not wanting to cling to the glass it's running down pretty rapidly but let's get it on the nose and see what we think about the smell of this bad boy mm. Smells real nice. Smells like a well-aged, upward 10 plus aged product. Getting a little ethanol burn on it. Your classic bourbon notes, some cherry, vanilla, that sweet oak's coming through. Mm. It smells real nice. It reminds me kind of of a, like a Four Roses, maybe. Wild turkey-ish, something. But like I say, we don't just smell it around here. We taste it, too. Cheers, y'all. Mm. Definitely not high proof. I'd say it's around 100 proof, 90 proof, something like that. It's got a really nice nose to it. The palate. It's not really my first sip, but it's the first sip of this, so let's get it a little bit more acclimated on this second sip. Mm. Up front, it's got some pretty nice flavors. Kind of the same what I'm getting on the nose. The cherry, a little bit of vanilla, some oak. Then it finishes real weird. It finishes kind of tannic. Hits me in the roof of the mouth pretty hard with some some tannic not really sour notes kind of sort of the nose on it's fantastic i feel like this would open up real nice as i'd sit here but if i had to guess i'd say it's probably seven to eight years old around 90 to 100 proof it smells like a wild turkey product. I'm not sure. I'm not going to really do a bottle guess on it. I will rank it. We'll do a third sip before we rank it, though. The first one of these, I was really way off on the proof, which it was an old Carter, so I could kind of understand that. This one, I'm not going to rank it real high. It's almost like a, it's almost got like a wheat funk to it, which I like weeded bourbons, wheat whiskeys. Kind of got a little wheat funk to it. It's not bad. It's not my favorite. It's probably not nothing I'd really go to. Um, I don't know. Not nothing I'd really have to have. But I'd rank it. I'm going to rank it a 7.4. It's pretty solid. Like I said, it's not nothing that I'm real, real crazy about. But enough of the BS. Let's find out what we were drinking. Got the little sample bottle right back here. E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof, 127.3 proof. I don't know what batch that is, batch 9, 10, whatever. I think it's the one that came out last year. Holy shit. Really? God, my. I'm way off on these proofs. So I'm going to tell you right now. I would suck at Mad Madness. It just really, it don't taste like Buffalo Trace. When I first tried this, I loved it. I got a bottle of this unopened, and I'm really excited about it now. It's funny what blind... Doing things blind will do. It's crazy. But guys, I hope you enjoyed that. E.H. Taylor Braille Proof coming in at 127.3. I think it's batch 8, 9, or 10, something like that. 9, I think, is what it is. You may be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down there. Like always, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And ring that bell for notification. I got a lot of these samples. This little basket down here is full, and I got more to go in it. 
as I weed these out. I got some new bottles coming. Can't wait. But guys, like always, remember to stay safe out there. And until next time, stay saucy. Don't get too saucy. Drink responsibly and share with friends. Cheers. Keep rocking.